Welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about domain and range of quadratics. Before we begin, let's go ahead and put our essential question on our paper. So our essential question for this chapter is what are some of the characteristics of the graph of a quadratic function of the form f of x equals ax squared? Remember f of x is just another way to write y equals. It means the function of x. Our first definition is domain. Our domain is all possible x values which makes the function work. And so we want to know which x's can we plug in in order to make this function work. And you'll see what I mean as we look at the graph. The range is all possible y values for the given function. Again, it's all y's that make our function work. And it helps to see this image on the graph. So let's look at an example here. Sketch this graph onto your notes. This graph is a parabola. It's a quadratic. And it goes on forever and ever and ever to the left. And it goes on forever and ever to the right. As it keeps on growing up, it also grows wider. And since this is our x-axis, it keeps on going to the left forever and ever and ever. And it never stops going to the left. It doesn't go quickly, but it keeps on going. Similarly, it never stops going to the right on our x-axis. and keeps on going forever and ever. And so it never stops using the x's on either side. On our y's, however, it keeps on going up and up and up and it never stops. However, it does stop right here at our vertex, our lowest point. And so this is the lowest y that we use. We don't use any of the y's down here. So how do we write that? Since we use all the x's, our domain is the x's that we can use. And since the graph never stops growing wider, it never stops going left and right. That should be right. So the domain is all real numbers. That's how we write that. To use all the x's and the negatives and the positives, it means that we use all real numbers. Our range, however, is our y values. And since the graph opens up, we will write this as y is greater than or equal to some number. And we find that number in our vertex. We use the y part of our vertex. And since the vertex is 2, negative 3, and this is our y part, the range is y is greater than or equal to negative 3. We never go below it. We're always above negative 3. Again, the domain is all real numbers, all the x's. However, we don't use all the y's. We use only all the y's from negative 3 and above. Let's look at another example. This time, our graph is going down. It still continues to go left and right forever. However, it stops going up right here at a vertex. It goes below it but it does not go above it. So once again, we're going to write our domain. Our domain is all the x's that we use, and since we use all the x's, if you notice a pattern here, then the graph will never stop growing wider. The domain is once again all real numbers. And that is going to be the pattern that you see with parabolas. Since it always goes left and right and never stops growing, it's always going to be all real numbers. We'll see that more as we start zooming in and out with graphs that we do in decimals. Our range, however, is once again used from the vertex. Since the graph opens down, the range will be y is less than or equal to some number, and that number comes from the vertex. It's the y component. Negative 3, 7 is our vertex, so the, the range is y is less than or equal to 7.
Now go back and use yesterday's assignment. Oh no no, before we go to yesterday's assignment, we're going to write our summary. So you need to write your summary for today. And then go get yesterday's assignment and find the domain and range of each graph.